of all, the society comprises a lot of areas. Your neighborhood, your workplace, but I want to focus on your neighborhood. First of all, before going to your neighborhood, how do you inspire yourself? In the morning, in the Sunday school, it was said that you can't give what you do not have. So before you can inspire in your neighborhood, you first of all have to be inspired. You have to be able to give out something before you can say, let me influence others. Praise the Lord. And in James chapter 1, verse 5, the Bible says, Is there anyone who lacks wisdom? Let him ask God. You need wisdom, first of all, to inspire. If not, you will come across as oversaggy. If you, if you are not wise and you think your life can influence others, if you don't come across as oversaggy, they will start envying you like you said now only you know only you two get what you took it twice so you ask God for wisdom for daily living how do I live my life how do I please God how do I live my life to inspire others so when you have asked God he will teach you what to, what to do how to go about it and God's word contains a whole lot of, of ways of living how to live righteously, how to give to people, how to work with your hands. God's word, the Bible, has a whole lot to say about that. And how do you get all these things? By reading your Bible. You have your Bible in your phone, you have your physical Bible. You read God's word every day and you will be inspired. Praise the Lord. And after you have inspired yourself, you now have something to give out. You got to shutting down negativity in your neighborhood. Your neighborhood can also be your workplace, where you have neighbors, where you live, your shop, different place where you interact with people. Be the woman. In this case, you can put yourself if you are a man. Or since today is, is Women's Day, be the woman that shuts down all forms of negativity. If you read the Bible in 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 23 and 26, there's this woman, Shunammite woman. God blessed her with a child. And it happened that this child died. No, he was sick. He was with the father first. The father said, go and meet your mother. And he went to meet the mother, and the child died. She carried her child. She did not wait. She carried her child and went out. The husband said, where are you going? She said, it shall be well. She got to where Prophet Elisha was. Prophet Elisha said, what is happening? She said, it is well. So be that woman that shuts down negativity in your life. Five Any form of negativity, shut it down. Speak positive. Is the economy affecting you? Speak positivity. Is anybody in your neighborhood trying to bring you down? Speak positivity. Speak life, speak health to your, to your neighbor. Don't be the person they come to for gossip. Don't be the chair lady of gossip, please. Don't be the, the chairman of gossip, of negative news, of have you heard? Speak life, speak good health, speak positivity. Praise the Lord. Tell us more how to inspire in the church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have two minutes, please. <laughs> please, then, uh, we can inspire people in the church, in the house of God. Please. Let me use Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. You can reach out to people in love, in kindness, and you can also try to be as understanding as possible. You know, in the hands of God, there are many persons who do not understand the way you want them to understand. So you can also try to inspire them by being in kindness, in love, 
showing love to them, showing kindness to them, as possible as you can, in your own way, as you can learn how to encourage others in the Lord. Let it become a natural part of your life. You can strengthen people even when they are experiencing nothing. That there are people that always experience so much. Every day they want to get more things like physical, you might say like physical cash from you. Yes, you can do so, but I am not telling you that you should empty all. But you show your little way, your little love to them. Even if you don't have, or even if you have, you can encourage them, okay? Take this, have your own way, do your own thing, so that you can also raise your own money. You can also be an independent on your own. That is another way to inspire them. And another way, we can also inspire them by praying for them. Yes, prayer is the key. Without prayer, we can do nothing. You can also pray for them. Even when they come to you with their challenges, like in First Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, you can pray for them. In their weakness, you can pray for them. Even when their everything is okay with them, you can also pray for them. And I believe as you pray for them, they can also pray for you too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please just tell them for Hallelujah. Okay, by my right, middle right, she's going to tell us how a Christian woman, now in the church, how a Christian woman can inspire. Hallelujah. In home. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. To start with, I believe that everybody you know what needs to inspire. Emotion. It means call to action, urging everyone. We are that to speak out, to be empowered, to have that self respect. And what am I saying? How can a Christian woman influence, inspire, encourage her home? I said to bring out two points to back it up, decision making. In every home, some families they don't allow women to come out and speak. But with this, you can come as a Christian woman, you can come out and make a positive impact and make a positive decision. There are some families they have problems, they believe it's only men that can solve it. But you may have your own idea set to hide it without speaking and saying, No, this is word of men. No, it's word of as a Christian woman. Stand up, speak out, speak what's right. Maybe may your decision will be what to save the family. So it's for every for a woman to come out, speak out, voice out loud, let the family see that you can participate. And if by doing that, you are inspiring the whole family, both your husband and your children. Also, in the midst of darkness, in the midst of growing darkness, there is there are meant to be light. So we the women we carry out the light to speak. You see that that problem solving is a light. When you speak, you are bringing out a light. And you see that your decision will turn out to be what will turn out to be a better home. With your children, to our children, we bring them close, teach them the word of God. Not only raising your child, it means inspiring them, means inspiring them. You teach them the word of God, bring your daughter, your son, ask them about Christ. Five seconds, please. Ask them about Christ. Also, another point here is lead by example. Uh, this, uh, today, they mention it, do as I said, not as I said. To my own work, do as I do and as I said. That is my own belief. Because you may say do as I do, not doing, not doing as I said. Not turn out your work, it's not the same thing as you do. Or you say do as I do, not as I said. Not turn out that you are doing another thing and different in time. You may be tell, don't do this. But when your daughter look at you, now this, or your family look at you, now this woman, you just sneak out and do a bad thing. Ah, what am I saying? There are different women in the Bible, Deborah, Esther, who yeah. only do the same story, sorry, to, to, to break the barrier. There are women in the Bible, like Esther. She is a woman of do and say. She said, if I perish, I perish. And she go for it. And you see that. What the, 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 the Jews, they said, oh, yes, what she said is what she did. Also, let me go back to the New Testament. We have other women, priests and uh, Priscilla. Um, what is this woman in the Bible also? They, they help uh, Paul to carry out the mission. They call it uh, Phoebe. Phoebe. She's the first deaconess. Most of us don't know all these people. They help Paul to inspire the word of God, to inspire their own homes, 
We're carrying out the word of God in the going far. What am I saying? What am I saying? The same way we can do it in our family by going far. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please let's stand up for this wonderful day. I'm going to summarize it by saying do they make a wonderful point, the point they make. I have them here, but I'm going to summarize it by telling us as a Christian woman, she mentioned to practice this gratitude. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Let them know what you stand for. Don't compromise. Wherever you find yourself, in your place of work, in, you know, even in the market, stand your ground. Let them know that ah, this woman she doesn't compromise. So, as a Christian woman, and you are out there to inspire, please stand your ground. Always set clear goals. Don't just be that woman that sit down and cross leg and give order. Be example. I keep telling my boy, the one under me, I don't give out jobs I don't know how to do. If I'm telling you to work 24 hours, I have worked 72 hours. So, set clear goals. Have passion for your job. Wherever you find yourself, have passion. As a Christian woman, you can inspire by having passion. And, and lastly, always challenge. Challenge them to be creative. Problem solver. I pray God will help us 